Welcome back, I'm Nate Moore, and today we're going to talk about grouping in Excel's pivot table feature. We're going to start where we left off last time, where we've got the referring physicians here, and over here we have the regions. And now what we're really interested in is the dates and the, the years that they've referred these patients. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the referring physicians and pull them out of the way. And I'm going to bring the new consult date field down into the row labels. I usually bring it into the rows because typically you have a whole bunch of dates and it's easier to put them in the rows than it is to have the columns spread all the way across. Then you can click anywhere in these row labels and then under the pivot table options menu we're going to group selection. And Excel gives you a whole bunch of options here. You can group by seconds, minutes, hours. Uh, you can group by multiple choices. If you do days they'll let you choose number of days so you could do seven days for a full week or five days for a work week or however you wanted to do. We're going to do two. We're going to do months and years today and click OK. So that fast we've got the years broken out and the months from those dates. And one thing that may help to see them is if we go over here to the design tab, look at report layout. Right now let's show it in outline form so you can break it out a little bit more, put them in a different column and make it a little easier to see how we've got these broken out. You can also use report layout to show in a tabular form like that. I'm going to go back to outline form and then uh, one way to group these is let's move location out of the way and we'll do years up to co the columns and now I can very easily see that I had 850 in 2007, 842 new consults and 849. So pretty consistent from year to year but seasonally you can see some differences. April went from 76 to 73 down to 62. Some of them were fairly constant. Others from 65 to 87 in December. So again you could uh, look at that and look for trends to see where your referral patterns are coming from. And then you don't have to show all the date fields at once. We can move new consult date up and move referring physicians back down where we were looking and we can see who did uh, by year the most new consult referrals, new patient referrals. So I'm going to select 2008 and say who sent me the most in 2008? Well it was Dr. Austin, Dr. Browning in 2009, and Dr. Elliott in 2007. Overall there it is. Very fast and easy way to put date data in groups by weeks, months, quarters, years and filter your pivot table accordingly. Hope you found that helpful. We'll talk more about that in the next session. Thanks for watching.